Hey, and welcome to Board of Life News for October 12th. Today I'm going to talk about Roar, King of the Pride, Entropy, Worlds Collide, Stranger Things, Ego Card Game, a Settlers of Catan movie, as well as the Kickstarter for Sunset Over Water. Let's get to it. Hey, I'm Chris. Welcome to Board of Life News. Up first, IDW Games announced Roar, King of the Pride. Um, this is a worker placement area control game where you take on your lion prides, basically, and you're trying to dominate the African Sahara, I guess? Uh, do lions live in the Sahara? I'm gonna say yes, I don't know. It says the game's gonna have 48 lion meeples and 120 lioness meeples, which I'm excited about, because you're gonna have a ton of, like, little wooden lions running around. It sounds pretty cool. Um, it's for three to six players, which is also nice that it's more than two to four players. Um, and the artwork is by Vincent Dutrait, one of my favorite board game artists. It's absolutely gorgeous, just like beautiful paintings. It's crazy what that guy can do. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes out for that if that's interesting for you. Passport Games announced Entropy Worlds Collide. Um, this is going to be a remake of the game Entropy. I don't know what remake means in this context, if that just means it's going to be a reprinting that Passport's doing, or if they're going to be making a new game, or it's going to be an update. I have no idea what that means. But in the game, basically, you are people that have been jettisoned into parallel universes, and uh, your memories have been split into four different shards, and you're trying to like put those shards back together. Um, I played the game Entropy um, a year or two ago uh, once, and it didn't catch me. It's one of those games where you play a card, and you don't want to play the same card as someone else, so you don't get the action on your card. It was nothing more than that um, for me, so hopefully they do something else to it to make me excited about it, but it does have super gorgeous artwork, um, so yeah. Hasbro has announced that they're making uh, Stranger Things, the Ego card game, uh, based off the Netflix series Stranger Things. So I, why do why do we even why do why does anyone have to try if Hasbro gets to just make this? Um, it sounds a lot like the description sounds a lot like Uno, but you're using Ego Waffle cards because uh, that was a thing that was sort of tangential in Stranger Things. It's so stupid. Like the frustration comes because like Stranger Things is arguably maybe like the best property to be adapted into a board game. Like. It's so rich, it's so cool, it's got really awesome, interesting characters, and even side characters are super interesting and well thought out. There's so much you can do, it plays on a lot of kind of like 80s D&D board game stuff, and to just crap out a Ego re-theme of Lego, or of um, Uno, and the Ego thing is so, like... This, this thing exists to only exist. Like, that's its function. It is to exist in the world and be purchased by someone. It will be purchased by people that like Stranger Things just because it says Stranger Things on it and it's in the shape of a Lego box or an Ego box. And it'll be purchased by grandmothers that know that their grandkids like Stranger Things. It's just such a huge whiff and it's gonna make money and it's so stupid. So yeah, enjoy the Ego. You guys were clamoring. I know people were just clamoring to make most of the game not actually based around Egos, but just look like Egos for no reason. Anyways, more moving on. And keeping with the theme of extremely stupid news, um, apparently they're moving forward with the Settlers of Catan movie. I first reported on this in 2015 that they're, somebody bought the license to make a Settlers of Catan movie. And apparently they're fast-tracking it with the goal of making it a franchise, just like all movies now. Um, Gail Katz is on board to produce. She did Air Force One, as well as The Perfect Storm, with help from Dan Lin producing. He produced it and the Lego movie. This is just, nobody wants a Settlers of Catan movie. Even people who love Settlers of Catan, like, it's not, it's a boring theme for a thing. Um... And we live in a world where they haven't been able to make a even a halfway decent D&D movie yet. Like, how does that happen? That, like, you can't make a thing that has, like, infinite rich stories in a world where Game of Thrones exists. You can't do that, yet somehow anyone is spending any effort trying to figure out how to crap out a Settlers of Catan movie. So, this movie won't get made. Uh, they don't have a director attached. It's just in an early stage. It's just They do this all the time with all sorts of properties. I don't think that the, you're actually going to get a Settlers of Catan movie. This is just a thing where somebody saw how much money Settlers of Catan had made and went, we have to buy that, and now that they've bought it, they have to do their due diligence and pretend like they're going to make it for a little while. Uh, 
Maybe I'm wrong, though. Uh, maybe it's a great movie, in which case, who cares? Who cares about anything anymore? We're all gonna die. Like, just make an Ego Waffle game and a Settlers of Time movie, because there's no point. There's no point to anything. This week's Kickstarter is Sunset Over Water. This is the same team that made Herbaceous, I think, last year, uh, which is Eduardo Baraf, uh, Steve Finn, or Dr. Finn, and uh, Beth Sobel as the artist. Um, in this game, you're landscapes artists, and you're trying to navigate uh, the landscape in order to kind of like find the most picturesque thing to paint. Um, it seems very kind of similar in weight and kind of function to Herbaceous, which are very, very simple games that are very beautiful and just like light fillers. This one, like they did with Herbaceous, they're kind of marketing it towards uh, like buy this game for your mom for Mother's Day, which I think is a nice thing and uh, un a part of the board game hobby that doesn't get um, explored much is thinking about like mothers playing games or playing games with your mother. Um, so that's lovely. So if you're interested in like a really beautiful, simple, light game, it is $19 right now on Kickstarter. All right, that's the news this week. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you follow me on social media. I'm at Chris Bryan Games on Instagram and Twitter. And make sure you check out my Patreon because my Patreon backers are the absolute best and that's why this content gets to exist. Um, so I've mentioned in previous videos that I will be at Essen and I will be at Europe before Essen, which is uh, these coming weeks. So there won't be any news for the next two weeks because I will be in Europe. Um, and then once I get back from Essen in early November, I hope to have some sort of Essen breakdown. I don't know what that'll be yet, but something talking about my trip to Essen. Um, also, Donald and I are in the process of starting a board game podcast because we decided that uh, there were not enough people just talking about board games in the world on podcasts. Uh, that's, I'm, I'm being, it's a funny joke because there's a lot of people doing that. And we said, why aren't we doing that? And then we didn't have an answer to that question. So now we're doing that. Um, so that I might be coming out next week. I don't know. We're not quite sure when it's going to launch, but um, if you follow at I'm bored with life on uh, Twitter, we will have all the details for that. Or if you follow me, I'll have all the details for that. Um, Hopefully it's going to be a little bit, um, a little bit different than a lot of the other board game podcasts, but also pretty similar to all the other board game podcasts, because um, that's apparently what people want from board game podcasts, and you have to say board game podcasts like that. So yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in a couple weeks.